All right, guys, let's hear it. This one here was originally supposed to be a manual solar tracker, and it just changed because when I put my jack on there, on this side, and moved it, the frame would just flex so much, and I didn't even have the panels on there. I know the panels would have gave a little more support, but it just didn't work out as planned, so I did a lot of extra steps. Uh, this was the pivot point down here, and it just pivots in there. Well, not anymore. Now I've got the uh, this on to kind of give it a little more support. The triangle angle irons there. Even though this is uh, filled with cement, this is filled with cement. But I think this one only goes up to here. I don't recall, but I do believe it only goes up there. But this goes all the way down three feet. And so it, I just didn't feel comfortable. I still had a little bit of a wobble. So that's why I put this on there. And I put these center beams thinking that would help with the um, the flex. I'm, I'm sure it helped a little bit, but not not enough. So basically, this solar manual solar tracker did not work. And then with the flex, I said, well, let me go ahead and put these super struts on, on the angle position part. So I put two of those on, and that gave it strength as well. But still, I had too much flex. So I, at that point, I decided to just go ahead and make this day, this thing stationary. Um, this is a, a two by one post as well. Well, be behind there, and that goes in the ground. Um, I didn't feel comfortable with that as well. Even though all these, all three of these are filled with cement. The so I've got this two by one tubing well to the one in back of it so you can see this these two that's actually they cut a two by one that might be a one and a half by one and a half anyways these two are welded together and filled with cement and then this is part of my first design but I went ahead and just welded this in place that goes in the ground as well as three feet and that's filled with cement and this is a thick gauge pipe so I basically got three on this side, really, really strong. So that's not going to go anywhere. I mean, if I was to go back in time, I would definitely got with a, a bigger post, like a three by three or a four by four post. But that's not what I had, so I just kind of, it's just kind of what I had. So I just dealt with it. But if I was to go back in time, that's what I would have done. I just would have went the first time and went ahead and just bought the right post. Um. So now it has pretty good support. I don't, I don't know. I, I may possibly put a super strut joining this one and just go straight down to the ground and put a little bar on the bottom, and that'll keep it a little bit more extra strength. So basically, from here to the ground, and put a little piece of maybe angle iron, the angle iron in the bottom, <clears throat> and then if you look at it, do that on both sides. That would give it additional strength because super struts only so strong it's really not strong at all come think about it so this will hold eight panels I've still got to put my other two on there just haven't had a chance almost done but I've got entirely way 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 too much time and money in this thing so I I think, I don't know, I'm hoping it's gonna withstand some wind. I really think it will, since I've got everything kind of triangled up. But that, that'll be my final step, is just putting, like I said, another section down to the ground. You just give it that extra support. So kind of look at it. And it's not, it's not squared. You, you're kind of seeing some of these panels off crooked and stuff. Uh, that's that's what you see so yeah that's that's true um, I had to come across some positioning of the um, the bolts in the frame of the panels were just wasn't right so I had to kind of move and shift it around so that's why it looks like that and yeah it doesn't look totally level as well so it was the first build but my next one I don't think I'm gonna build it this big those are 10 by 10 super struts if I do do a 10 by 10 again, I don't think I'm going to use super strut for the main frame. But just getting that main frame up there 
of course I didn't have we didn't have any of these panels on it was just a bare frame but that still took us like three guys to put it up on my L brackets my L brackets it's supported by the ones on the sides and they're doubled up I, I did kind of think that through but you could well anyway they're doubled up I got one in the back and then I got one in the front and that goes around the super strut so it's got a double double strength on that bracket and those are hardened bolts on those so I'm gonna give you a little quick and these bottom pieces here the only reason why that's there is when I was originally had my my jack on there the system when I want to flip out the, the legs wanted to flip out and uh, and that's without any weight on there so I was like oh my god so I, that's why I have these to keep it from jacking out but anyways that was just a total waste of time trying to make it a, a manual tracker uh, it was just it was just too much flex and that's the main thing so if I do a tracker again it would have to be probably half the size in order for it to be efficient but being a 10 foot by 10 foot would wasn't working so uh, lesson learned I definitely learned from this one and spent a lot of money and time and you know and also that too since I have all the welding equipment next time I'm not going to use all these brackets and nets and bolts I just welded I just weld the stuff up it'd be a lot quicker and and cheaper as well some of the areas where it's critical I might use the brackets and weld but all right well give me your thoughts guys good or bad I don't, I'm listening I'm I'm no expert here I've got a lot of a lot of time you know researching this stuff but um, I still consider myself a newbie All right, I got them bolted down using the square super struts. And then the bottom, I've got the L brackets. Drill the hole in the panel frame. And then the top, I got the same thing, L bracket. Originally, it was supposed to be like this for the third panel in the fourth panel but with the center pivot the plans changed still works though 